Welcome to Explified. Today, we're diving deep into the IELTS exam, specifically looking at how you can think like an examiner. By understanding what examiners are looking for, you'll be better equipped to score higher. So, let's break down the IELTS evaluation criteria, step by step. First up, let's talk about the speaking test. The speaking test is assessed on four main criteria. One, fluency and coherence. Examiners want to see how smoothly you can speak and how well you connect your ideas. This means speaking at a natural pace without too many pauses or hesitations. It also means organizing your thoughts logically so your answers flow well. Two, lexical resource. This is all about vocabulary. Examiners look for a range of vocabulary, including the ability to use less common words and phrases accurately. But it's not just about using big words. Using the right words in the right context is key. Three, grammatical range and accuracy. Here, examiners focus on the variety of sentence structures you use and how correctly you use them. Using a mix of simple and complex sentences and avoiding frequent grammar mistakes will help you score well in this area. Four, pronunciation. Your pronunciation is assessed on how easy it is for the examiner to understand you. This doesn't mean you need a perfect accent, but clarity is crucial. Consistent stress, rhythm, and intonation are all part of what they're listening for. Now, let's move on to the writing test. The writing test is evaluated based on four criteria as well. One, task achievement slash task response. In task one, this criterion focuses on how well you address the prompt, including all the necessary details. In task two, it's about how fully you answer the question and how well you develop your ideas and arguments. Two, coherence and cohesion. This refers to how well your writing is organized. Examiners look for clear paragraphs with logical progression and effective use of linking words to connect ideas. Three, lexical resource. Just like in speaking, your use of vocabulary is important in writing. Examiners are looking for a good range of words and phrases, accuracy in word choice, and correct spelling. Four, grammatical range and accuracy. Again, variety is key. Using a range of grammatical structures and ensuring your sentences are free from errors will boost your score. This includes correct punctuation and appropriate use of tenses. Next, let's discuss the listening and reading tests. These are both assessed on the number of correct answers you give. There isn't much subjectivity here. Accuracy is what matters. However, to improve in these areas, it's essential to practice listening for specific details and reading to understand both the main ideas and finer points in a passage. So, why is it important to understand these criteria? When you know what the examiners are looking for, you can tailor your preparation to meet these expectations. For instance, in speaking, focus not just on what you say, but how you say it. In writing, ensure that your ideas are not just well-developed, but also clearly structured and linked. By aligning your practice with the evaluation criteria, you'll be more confident on test day and more likely to achieve a high score. Remember, thinking like an examiner isn't about trying to game the system. It's about truly understanding what quality communication looks like in English. Focus on clarity, variety, and accuracy across all sections of the exam. Thanks for watching. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Explified for more in-depth IELTS tips and tricks. And of course, hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. Good luck with your IELTS prep and we'll see you next time.